Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome to episode number one of the first season here at Guernsey FC in Roaring for the Top. This is my hometown team, so I'm quite nervous to do it. I've already recorded this once. I found out I was on preview and not actual record, so I'm already slightly annoyed. But hopefully I can go through this a little bit quicker than what I just did. So as you can see, we are taking over Guernsey FC. Um, they play in the Ryman League First Division South. So we're going to be aiming to sort of take them up um, hopefully all the way to the Premiership, but no, my luck, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. A um, little bit about the club is they're only formed in 2011, they're semi professional, so everyone's on like an amateur part time contract. The team itself is actually um, partly, not partly, it is a local community owned team and it's actually registered as a charity. If you want to get down to sort of this level of football or even lower because it goes down to division nine um i'll link in the description the database i'm using which is from the fm editor and i'll link his twitter as well so anyone can get hold of him ask him any questions if you've got any issues with it or want to use it yourself so i'll link all that in the description below and we are going to sort of just go through the club quickly um yeah facility wise we play at a ground called Foots Lane and we have like poor training poor basic youth facilities which as being on an island that's what you expect and uh, I think it's put us in like the south west sort of geographical location in terms of that because we're on an island it doesn't actually work out that way but the main issue is going to be getting people to relocate to us so like players from like the Southampton area, south coast of England is going to be where I'm going to be focusing trying to bring players in I've already put two sets of kits in like home and away which is actually I've tried to get them as close as possible as I can and same I put our actual badge in as well um, I actually haven't clicked through some of these tabs um, sort of Records why not records um landmarks no there's nothing in there no, so I've sort of just clicked through this already because I was already <laughs> recording this and I don't quite know as you can see here very new team gone all the way up I've got quite a few this weaknesses rather than and quite a few strengths so a bit balanced so we're going to, have to bring some players in because we're missing a few sort of positions I want to strengthen or try and strengthen at this level we are going to go through the squad quickly I've already done this so we're just sort of going to run through sort of the bigger players Chris Tardiff some people might recognize him he used to play for Portsmouth back in the early or late 90s early 2000s same with Bournemouth um, Having it in Waterloo, he played for, and then back up to Oxford, and then sort of stuck with us. Every every player here is a local player to Guernsey, um, live here, and generally work here as well. We some of these players I actually do know personally, um, like Lee O'Reilly, young goalkeeper, went to school with him. I'm a little bit older than him, but he's was in my school and I know it's you know, the family um, sort of defence wise Jamie Dodd looks quite decent on the game um, Sam Cochran is going to be our main centre back probably um, very good leader and determination and just going to be a solid man for us um, we've got a couple of good young players in Liam Mahon okay he's not got the best stats but looks like he can be a decent player same with Tom Martin again I can be all right. Um, Tom Delamar is probably going to be one of our starting centre mids. Um, very good player, quite well rounded for this level. Um, Josh Steele again looks quite rounded, going to be hopefully in and out of the team. Dominic Hume again, another good centre mid, going to be quite a good player for us. Plus, we have Ryan Zico Black, who's been in the high levels as well, or slightly high levels into the Panorama National League in Morecambe. So, he knows the sort of this level and up. Um, who else do we have after that? Matt Loring, a good left winger, hopefully, going to be in and around the team. 
as well. So we have um, Mark McGarth, again, good young player. Oh, not young player, good player. He's 29, so he's not really young in terms of a footballer, but uh, very good finishing composure. Definitely going to be in the team. And Glenn Dyer, or Glenn Dyer, I, don't, I can't remember if that's the first name, looks quite decent as well. So we have Luke Winch, looks half decent. Uh, the question is probably about right for him as well. And um, Craig Young, young, not young, um, 29 year old striker, going to be in around the team. We've got a couple of good youngsters in Paris Pereira. Again, hopefully can improve on him as well. And Kyle Smith looks half decent. And also, we've got our top goal scorer, and hopefully going to be our main man in Ross Allen, who is just an absolute beast. Um, as you can see here, 166 league appearances and 188 goals in, since 2000, and 2000, 2000? Yeah, 2011, when he first started playing for Guernsey. Um, just been an absolute outstanding player. These are actually all pretty much accurate to what he got as well. And in real life, we're going to miss him because he's actually just about to go off travelling. So he's not going to be in the team at all for a little while. And at the minute, Chris Pardew in real life actually got a double leg break. Unfortunate for him. Really sorry about it. Hope he um, gets well soon. But they're not. In, that's not um, part been put into this game. Oh, sorry, guys. So it's going to be quite an interesting save. This really because I want to sort of take him up as high as possible. Um, quick look into the staff. Um, actually, don't know. I'm tired if it's actually a player coach. Chris Hamlin, Colin Valets. Everyone's on a part-time contract, so we're going to have the issue of bringing the players in. We've only got one head physio, so we've got the best physio in the league, and we've got the best fitness in the league, and the best um, what's that? goalkeeping in the league. We've got no scouts already. Where was I? Um, this is our coaching staff at the minute. We don't have a lot, so we're definitely going to have to improve on that and hopefully get some players in as time goes on. This, As in terms of leagues... Um, we're playing in the Division South. We'll then, from this, go into like the um, Everstick Northern Premier. No, that's not right. The Ryman League Premier into this division. Then we'll go up from there into like the National League South, or I'm pretty sure we'll go into the South Division. Then from there, it's like the National League. After that, it's like League Two, League One, Championship, Premiership. So, we're going to take our time to get there. This is hopefully going to take us most of the way through the year as well I'm definitely going to be looking at trying to make this as long as possible I'm not going to be sort of wanting back to back promotions but if that happens it happens but I'm not expecting it to happen in terms of the tactic I'm looking at doing just a basic 4-4-2 for now to see how it sort of goes I've got other tactics I could try and get in but I think they're a bit too advanced for this team already or this team at the moment and why is Ross not on the field because I clicked off him before in terms of a striker is that sort of the pairing I want to go with I need to find like a right winger um, probably Zico Black's going to be that man for now but I'd like to sort of back that position up left back I don't really have anyone at the minute who could play left back uh, Jamie Dog can move there but I'd rather have him in the centre but I could push him out if I find a centre back so I don't quite know, but I'm probably going to call that episode here. This is sort of just a background to the club. It's my local team. I'm quite nervous to do it, and I don't really want to mess it up too much anyway, because I know I'm going to mess up somewhere along the lines. But if you've enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next episode, guys, for when we get into like the first games, which is going to be probably around here. Probably do the first game. And then sort of jump through a dozen, half a dozen or so and sort of move the season on and go through like transfers, which is a quick point. Because it's like um, 
part time contracts. We can just go and run an amateur contract, don't even give them, have to give them a wage for amateurs, part time deals. So, we can definitely get players in. So, if you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more of Roaring to the Top. I'll see you next time.